Hello everyone and welcome back to my little corner of YouTube where we are heading into part three of the living ship quest line and you know I was just about to say something about how long this mission is taking but they are everywhere so you know I gotta be getting it soon right holy crap this place is loud moving on void egg is humming on a strange frequency uh, we await contact yet again Woohoo! jumping through space jumping through space trying to force an event to happen while we're waiting, let's see what this planet has to offer. Hello! I haven't seen one of these yet. Uh, yep. Or maybe I have and it's just been a while. Oh good, the sentinels here are hateful. Well, I won't be staying long. Extreme Sentinel Planet. Hey, Isaac, you're back. Who's mad at me already? Hello, doggo. Extreme Sentinel Planet. You said that already. Learning words. Oh great. <laughs> the sentinel is mad at me while I'm learning something. Yep. Underling, the Gek first spawn orders you something, the something, something to something. Okay. A small winged queet creature lands on the top of the monolith. Suddenly its eyes glow red and head revolves in a full circle. It screams for mercy in an ancient voice that wants itself dead. The poor animal has clearly broken its neck, but some power of possession still animates it. Now, if I know the Gek first spawn, they are extremely bloody-minded, violent creatures. So I'm going to kill this thing. Now, it's clearly an act of pity. On the, on the one hand, and on the other hand, it's the act of aggression that the Gek first spawn who created the monolith wanted. I got something from that. I don't know what. I missed it because I was talking. And now we're gonna get away from these sentinels. Wow, this is a gorgeous planet. Okay, I gotta check something while I'm here. I gotta see if the flight model has really been upgraded the way I think it has, or if I'm imagining things. So can I... I can! I can smoothly swoop into the cave without hitting- well, okay, I hit the cave, but it didn't force me above the ground. Guys, low flight is actually part of the game. Like, legit. Let me try for realsies here. I'm gonna sweep- no, 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 no. Come on. I was just singing your praises, and now you're doing this to me? Maybe it has to do with speed. Maybe at speed it still auto-corrects. But when you're slower- yeah, look at this. Woohoo! Going for it. Going for it. Going for it! Down, 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 under, through! Ouch! But I did it! Anomaly detected! Hello! I know you. Let's chat. You are on our path. We see it. We understand where it leads. It is necessary. Perhaps we thank you. Perhaps. The words of the ship ring in my ears. They have real expression, an unsynthesizable quality. And yet I see no pilot. My dance with this strange life form, for I am convinced this ship is alive, continues. It has bound itself to me, and this egg is the bridge. Okay, bye! More interstellar coordinates. Galaxy map. Galaxy map. Hyperdrive with no fuel. Ugh! Let me fix that. Blighted planet will give me the resources I need to make antimatter and whole oh, that. Hang on. I'm gonna turn off my heads-up display real quick, because this is freaking awesome to see. Something happened. Oh, space anomaly. Okay, what are you? Something's talking to me. Hyperspace navigation station. Hey, hex code. Hyperspace navigation station? What if I fly into it? I shouldn't do this. Yep, I was right. I shouldn't have done that. What does this do? It has jets on both sides, presumably keeping it stationary. It's like playing music and whispering. It's kind of really awesome. Shooting it appears to do nothing. What is the purpose of this? No idea. Oh well. Hello, landing pad. Just need to stop in for some supplies real quick. Ooh, you're neat looking. Oh, you are terrible, but neat looking. So I've noticed a couple of things since this last update happened. Uh, objects in the distance seem more polygonal than things that are close up, and also more than they used to be. But also, Poppin is a lot better than it used to be, so I think they made a few sacrifices in order to increase efficiency, and I'm okay with that. I'll go ahead and condense some carbon. And while that's running, I'll just keep collecting more. <laughs> Probably get some iron while I'm at it. Alrighty. Let's make ourselves some... Antimatter? How do I not have enough? Oh, right, because it's in my... <laughs> I gotta take it out of the refiner before I can use it. Go figure. Antimatter! Warp cell! Off we go! I don't care. 
moving on from Aranoyabe to... I've been here before. Zushuna. It's just shuttling me back and forth from one to the next. Oh well, as long as I get what I'm going for. Love the little orange nebula in this area. Hyperdrive upgrade required to enter target system. Indium drive. Now you tell me. I need emerald. Technology okay, where do I get emerald? Green stars. There's one. Whoop. No, I need something closer. Something closer and green. You! No, not you. Way back there. You. Oh, are it. Let's go! That was a surprisingly quick jump. <gasps> Look at all these platinum rocks. I noticed that the odd-shaped rocks in the asteroid fields always give platinum. So that's a very quick way of getting that particular resource. I don't know the difference between gold and silver yet. Have not figured it out. But the weird-shaped ones, like this one here, always platinum. And as it happens, there is a pulse engine upgrade currently awaiting full installation on my ship that needs a lot of platinum. And there are a lot of platinum rocks in this particular asteroid field. I love it. I mean, seriously, they're everywhere. I wonder how good the hitbox is in this. Can I do this? Nope! <laughs> Why not? We'll check out the empty world. Hey, is that what I need? Looks like it might be. Ooh, this is an empty planet. Oh, wow. That audio. What are you? You look different. I don't think I've seen you. Whispering egg. Is this a planet full of whispering eggs? If I harvest those, will a horror come up? Holy low gravity, Batman! What's gonna happen if I do this? Will I be in trouble? I'm in trouble! Yeep! Note to self. Don't harvest the eggs. I mean, yeah, they're, they're worth it, but on the other hand, they're not worth it. Low gravity travel is fun. All right. Where is Emerald? There we go. Rocket Man! Now, if this is like every other star drive, I'm gonna need 250 of this. On the plus side, making good progress toward that goal already. There we go, 250. Indium Drive, Indium Drive. Okay, we actually have a long way to go, don't we? Oh my goodness, that is far. Is that it? That is it. Okay. You know, while I'm making this journey, I should probably stop in at every station and expand my exosuit. I mean, it's not like I can't afford it. I've got 16 million credits. Oh wow, that was only my 15th warp. Let's see, general, tech, cargo. Eh, we can go general. Why not? Hostile scan detected. Hostiles? Uh-oh. Well, I guess I'm in for a fight. Oh, come on. That stuff is literally everywhere. Why would you want to attack me for that? Oh, there's a lot of you. Okay. One down. That was fast. Your turn. Ah, oh, come on. How are you not dead? One more hit. There we go. Oh my god, I'm actually taking some damage. They did improve the AI. Woohoo! Not enough. I see you, Mr. TIE Fighter Man. Last one goes... Pop! And moving on to Saporos. I think this mission is actually taking me further out from the Galactic Core. Which is unusual. Hostiles? What? Oh, more of ya. Hello, lazy fighters. Ah, nice relaxing bout of space combat. Now, I gotta say, that is one thing this game is lacking. The space combat is very easy. I don't want to help you. Upgrade and move on! And we refill the hyperdrive. And away we go! I want nothing to do with this system! Alright, what do you need, Void Egg? Wrong menu. Lush and verdant plat life on a water world. Okie dokie. Well, look at that. That is a water world. <laughs> Viridescent. Okay. Yep. We're, uh, we're going there. Naha 17 slash C9. That is a mouthful of a name. All right. This is the right planet. Switching view. Negative 38 plus 142. Okay. So I'm at positive 34, which means I need to head south, yes, and then 142 means I need to head that away. So a roughly that away ish direction. Pulls into the stars, whoop, slingshot around the planet, get some high altitude travel to speed things up a bit, and gently sidle back down to see where we are. A little further. Okay, this is about where we should expect to see our destination, which 
If it's anything like the last couple times, should be a ruin. I'll go ahead and land, because it'll be easier to navigate on foot. Hey, look, there it is. That's the thing. All right. What have you got to say? Archive of Corvette's Prime. Retrieval in progress. Log follows. Carapace program concluded. Machinery optimized. Biological core unnecessary with correct local sensory throttle configuration. Yet non-convergence insufficiently processed. Biogenesis may offer future refuge. Increased autonomy must be studied. Experimental synthesis unit operational. Awaiting biogenesis materials. These words are translated, designed to be read by non-convergent entities. Were the authors working beyond their brief? Had they become divergent, lured by the flesh they had created? How many others have walked the same path of creation? I need an impossible membrane. Not impassable, impossible. The ancient Korvax machine hums faintly to itself as it etches another blueprint, another fragment of the puzzle of organic life. Okay, impossible membrane, fantastic. Biomechanical construct, I need chromatic metal, hypnotic eye, living water. How the heck do I get living water? Quit growling at me. All right, while I wait for the clue tooltip to pop up, there we go. Void egg requires a shell. Hypnotic eye comes from abyssal horrors. Oh, those must be underwater. Oh, I haven't gone underwater yet. Well, this ought to be fun. Hello, that's different. What's in here? Oh, oh that. Will that work? No, no, I need something else. This. I need to hit it in the eye. I need to breathe. Well, this is clearly a less than ideal situation. Also, I appear to be walking on water. Okay, time to kill a thing. Open up. No, 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 You don't get to keep me. I get to shoot you in your blinking eye. Ha ha! And give me that. Please and thank you. Why can't I... Ugh! No! Dang it! Hello, games. If I could offer a suggestion for a control improvement, let me look directly down. Goodness. Well, at least there's a second one here. I have another chance. I just need to give myself a second to let my shield recover. Oxygen rerouter. I need three more of those crystal sulfides and a salt refractor. That would make this so much easier. But I don't have it. So, doing what I can. Oh, look. Kelp sack. Fantastic. Well, we'll handle that in a second. How is there water pouring out of that thing while I'm underwater? Let me go. Let me go. And we go back. There we go. Now, pick up the eye. Pick up the eye. Pick up the... There we go. Woo! All right. Oxygen! Get me to the plant. Get me to the plant. Closer than the surface, please. Get me to the plant. Yay! Gather living water in a deep space. Okay. Oxygen levels critical. Oh, you know what I could do is I could craft a noddle on. That would make this easier. Of course, what do I need to craft a noddle on to begin with? Well, first I need the blueprint for it, which I don't have. <laughs> so never mind that, I guess. Seek living water in in deep space. So I don't need to go to a deep space, such as in the water. I need to go to deep space. That's easy. First, I'm going to gather me some of these pearls, because I get the feeling that's going to be very lucrative. I just noticed that I landed with one of my engines in the water. That can't be good for it. Into space! Seek living water on the space station. Okay, I can do that. Why was that red? Oh, it's an abandoned station. It's a decrepit station. What? I'm finding all kinds of fun stuff on this playthrough. That is one deep, very deep, holy crap, incredibly deep landing bay. I kind of want to explore the whole depth of it, see if there's anything hidden. I recognize this layout. This is old school. Nanites! What's a trade terminal doing here? Hey, chromatic metal, I need that. I have plenty of it on the ship, don't I? Well, no harm getting more. And while I'm here, I might as well sell the living pearls, which aren't worth very much. Oh well. It's received. And on the other side, we have... A portal. A lamp. Nanites! Living water not detected pulls jump into deep space. Ugh. 
How did I not notice that prior to this moment? Unless that j literally just popped up for the first time. I honestly have no way of knowing for sure. I really want to see if there's anything hiding over there. Um, I'll bet dollars to donuts that there's not. Launching! Watching! Nope. Flat walls all the way. Hostile scan detected. I don't care about your scanner. I need a different system, because this space station is dead. Hey, that looks like Earth. Only frozen. Another dead station? What are the odds of me finding two in a row? Ew. Alright, I'm not guessing anymore. I am warping to a station that I know has a live, uh, station. Welcome home, me! Okay. Okay, so it's not on dead stations, it's not on living stations. So why does it want me to go to a space station? I mean, is it just telling me wrong? Is it lying to me? Pulse jump! Hello! Ooh, what are you? Jettisoned storage silo, okay. Can I get something from you? I can cause damage. Sulfurine. That is not living water. So where the heck do I get living water? Hello, space jelly! What the hell are you? I don't care about the space station, tell me about this thing right in front of me! Communicator, okay. Help traveler, it says. Acceptance. Child of Heliots. Hope. Willing. A wave of calm washes over me as my communicator tunes itself to this beautiful giant. Its message is no conventional broadcast, but an analog transmission of pure emotion. I let the feeling take hold as I contemplate the being before me. Request sacrifice. I, okay. I make a request of the peaceful traveler before me. Despite having no shared language, it appears to understand me, even to have been expecting this. It convulses, and I receive what I need. The being continues on its journey. What? Living water! That's how you get... Okay. Child of Helios. So, what I'm hearing is I could have done this in that first station, and also, THIS THING IS AMAZING! Thumbnail. Okay, well that was a thing. So let's create the impossible membrane. Yep. And then, we got We gotta go back to that system that I left. Oh, that's right, I forgot, this is a dead station. To the Void Egg! And, of course, there's a horrible storm going on right now. Where did these giant mushrooms come from? This is not the same place I was before. I was on the viridescent planet before. What the heck? Oh, look, storm crystal. That's useful. All-consuming cold? It's hot. All right, whatever. Pillars of... who's it, what's it? Experimental synthesis unit operational. Awaiting biogenesis materials. Here you go, one impossible membrane. I have prepared what was asked, and the machine has brought another piece of life into the universe. Do these clusters think? Do they feel? Where is the boundary between life and an organic machine? Rare item found. Fragile shell! Careful attendance while it matures. Dang it! Another 21 hours! So I guess we'll be making another video tomorrow! Hang on, I need to get out of this storm. So thank you everyone so much for watching. This was actually a pretty exciting episode. Found a lot of stuff that I haven't seen before, but I'm still so frustrated that they're padding out the runtime of their new content with these artificial timers. I mean, realistically, I could set my system clock ahead a day and skip it entirely, but that then that screws with my computer's clock and stuff like that, and I don't like doing that. It's just annoying. I mean, you could say that you have a week's work worth of new content, sure, but. Is it really legitimate if you force the player to take a week playing it with these t injected timers? I don't like that, but I do enjoy the content, so there is that. It's it's good content. It's It shows that Hello Games really cares, really adds a little bit of depth to everything that they try to do with the game. And so I'm really excited to see how it pans out, and I want that living ship! I'm tired of waiting. Rant over. Anyway, so thank you everyone so much for watching. Come on back for the next episode where hopefully we'll finally get the living ship. Maybe I'm gonna research... Everything just turned gray. Maybe I'll research into, you know, what the conditions are, how far you have to go to get the ship. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer because quite honestly this is getting annoying. <sighs> so thank you everyone so much for watching. Come on back for the next video. And until then, have a nice day. Bye-bye!
Those are some seriously big mushrooms. <gasps> Have I found the Mushroom Kingdom? 